Welcome back guys to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest where there's an obvious little chest lying right in front of us which is uh, one I think we need to get possibly but we need to get there from a door over there so the question comes getting oh wait a second there's a chest over here what on earth am I talking about why did the map only say there was one as well the map says only one in this room but it's pointing out two chests why didn't I not notice that before I came here looking for a way to get to that chest, but we can't get underwater still, so that's a sore point. Ooh, ooh, but we can get underwater. We can. Is that a switch? Will it drain? Excellent, we can stop being lost in the forest temple. I should admit it indeed. We finally found ourselves a small key. And a billion hearts, which I'm a bit worried about what might be... So we can climb up either way, it seems. And a sculpture for our troubles. Nicely done. Gotta love picking up all these, make sure I never have to come here again. It's the most important thing to me right now. Right, we destroyed a gold sculpture, and to save time, in fact, in the room that we were last in where we had to twist the corridor around, I thought about it and I put a Furore's wind down. So time to use it in its proper full-on function. Let's go. You cast Furore's wind. Return to the warp point, dispel the warp point, or exit. We may as well cast it again. Because this is not too bad a room, despite the fact that it has evil beasties inside. Come on then, I know you're coming again. You seem to be able to respawn, sir. Hey, you can't just go up in the air. you got to die when I want you to. It's only fair that way. In fact, we can get tons of rupees by fighting you guys over and over, that's for sure. The rupees aren't what we're really after. We got our red tunic with no problems, after all. What we're after is passing through here. Hello, sir. Hi. Nice to see you. Can I slash you in the face? Oh, you are protected. Until your green light goes out. Which we can preemptively get rid of. So that's great. Move into a moving, switchy death room. So you obviously need this torch for something. Ah, I see. Oh, wait a second, we got timer? Okay. Ah, there's a box over there, so I need to grab the box, put it on the switch, get back on here, and then shoot it. Like William Tell. I could have actually just jumped over to the center, couldn't I? And then jumped onto another platform instead of rotating all the way around. Or jumped off considering there's a ladder. Ah, well, whatever. We need to de-ice that switch. The best way to do that is with this. Yay, look, a puzzle that I can do in a row and not suck at. Hooray. Anyway, suck at this. Yes, I hit first time! And twisting the room around. Of course, we know our friendly friend is going to be in there waiting for us yet again. Oh, wait a sec. Ah, I get ya. That's also a door blocker. I don't want to step on this again. I wanted to jump forward to jump over there. Well, that sucks. I can't even use the ladder up, so I have to actually climb up and jump the jump. If I wasn't holding the box, I'd have been fine. Alright then. It looks like this switch, by the way, can only be twisted one time. So this is a one time only kind of deal. So hopefully it means we're reaching ever closer to the boss. Ah, it did go away, thank you. I was a bit worried then. I will say, I was, I was really worried. Out of the way, twirly guys. Come on, let's 
just make sure there's no floor mass to deal with while I check the perspective of the room a bit. None of you, cool, you're out the way. In fact, we can still go back through there even though it's twisted, but we want to head down here. Oh no! Okay, this is terrible. Right, this is a chessboard room where the ceiling falls down as you approach. However, as you can see, we're full of spiders as well. In all the gaps lay a spider. And none of those spiders are gonna let me reach safety. No problemo. <laughs> Ollies, watch out, the ceiling is falling down. Do you not understand though, Navy? I want the arrows. Oh, it's there, still there. Oh, now they're gone. Ah, and the door is locked over here. Activate. Activate. How close do I have to get to go before you activate? In fact, you're not activating anymore, so it's exactly where do you start? Yes, I heard you activating then, that's for sure. So this should be our next safe haven. In fact, we can't aim at them anymore. So that's very troublesome. Was it here the next one? I can't remember. I'm too worried about the guys waiting for us along the way. Okay. We've got that one and one. It was three blocks forward, so it's this one. It won't let me fire upwards at all now. So we've got problems. However, we could just make the dash for the switch. Alright, that switch opens that door. Now this guy's going to cause me to get squished. Right, we press this switch, which means this door should still be open. That's good. We still need to cross all the way, but it looks like a key door on the other side. So we may as well... I was worried about that spider then. Find out what's here, which appears to be, of course, a simple way down. <laughs> and a tiny Deku Baba. Oh, nice to see a tiny one for once. For another key. So this was a key, like I thought. It was not the key I needed right then and there. All right. So now we play the song, and we, uh, that's the wrong button, Sam. And we get control of these blocks, so of course we want to climb, so if we climb onto the first one, it should stay there like we've learnt from the other blocks. And enable us a nice safe climb upwards. Right, let's go again. Unless there's a hookshot target of course, which could also be a possibility that I have overlooked. But if I'm right in saying, I would be climbing up the one behind me and then making the jump. The other side. Alright, so with the key owned now, will we have a room full of spiders again? The answer to that question is yes. We only have two arrows with which to hopefully claim some more. Which did not become a reality. I need your place, sir. We may as well take this nice and slowly, this one. No reason to go fast, after all. We're out of arrows. At least we can easily tell which one's the right one. Considering it's all the one, always the one they drop from. Alright, now next one is the switch. No bad guy coming down for that one. 
Oh, I was hoping we'd be perfectly fine there. Arrows, please? Yes, we needed that bundle of arrows, just a singular one. And we'll stay there for that. Chess boards, why can't you involve chess? Or is that too simplistic? Uh, uh, uh. Look up, Sam. What's going on? <laughs> One minute to put together a puzzle that looks exactly like you. Okay then, um... Well, we only have five blocks, so surely we're missing one block. I am confused, we're missing a block. Oh well, whatever, just put together what you can. That's the only way we can do it, really, unless one block is completely unnecessary. Which that actually looks like what the puzzle is. One block is not required. One of these blocks is not like the others. Can we do it in time? Yes, we can. No problem. He says. Hello, sir. Stop barreling. Oh, come on. That's just unfair. Give me at least one chance to attack you. What's your name? Amy, one of the post sisters. Hello, Amy. Why would you not let me hit you? There we go. I just gotta attack a little bit faster with you, it seems. Whenever you turn corporeal, we need to be right on that. Yes. And that's our third Poe down at last. No longer lost at actually making progress at last. Ah, thank God. Right then. Arrows, in fact. Lovely, jubbly. In fact, I hope there's more arrows in here. Arrows, arrows, yes. A double bundle, in fact. Ten, thank you. I do wonder what's going to happen in these short corridors. They do make me worry. In fact, we're back in the main room. And if you hear by the sound, there's something around apart from everything else. Hello, madame. Four of you is just not fair, I've got to say. But you're the real one. Oh, we got to hit you with arrows, have we? Because you twirled, and that enabled us to... Oh, can we pick up the arrows again? Also, we should probably find out your name. We found all the others' names. It'd be very much rude to not know what your one is. Meg. If she splits into multiple images, you need to figure out which one is the real one. Is this the real one? Yes, it is. Shoot in the face. I could probably power spin and find out exactly which one it is. But if they keep coming in front of me like that... Oh, no, I just fired two arrows by accident. You have to use your sword to counter the arrow. No problemo. With that, we activate a lift down under. Faster lift down than it was up, that's for sure. One more room, it seems. One more puzzle. Nothing's trying to swoop on me from above, which is a good sign. Let's push this. Send everything moving round. Hello, big spider. Hope you don't mind if I put this in your face. In fact, there's a second big spider behind the first one. Lots of lovely goodies before a boss. That's exactly what we want to see. 
Nothing in this room? No. I just keep rotating it, I guess. Find out what we can get. There's three, four, five different doors, so to say. Door two over here should be open. Ah, okay. Switch above. And a switch to press. Nothing descending on me from above, but yet another room opened up. Let's keep pushing in the same direction. In fact, that's, uh, that's that one. So one more push and we'll be able to get the treasure chest. He says, there we go. Anything big in here? Nope, cool. Rupees? Even better, a bundle of arrows. Only weapons that harm are worth mon any kind of value after you've uh, got your rupee cap met. So this should now open up the boss door. But we still have to press another switch to activate it. Which is in this room, if I'm not mistaken, up above. Let's go. One corridor to take. The Forest Temple boss is ours to meet. And I'm going to end this episode early, guys, because of course we're stepping into a boss fight we don't know how long it will last for. So, I will see you next episode for the boss. Thank you for watching. Tune in for more. I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye. <laughs>